Behold, cable TV. But where did it come from? Meet John Walson. Born in the United States in 1915, John Walson didn't invent the television. He also didn't invent wireless radio signals or color TV. So what exactly did he do? Let's start in 1947. John Walson was a hardware store owner who also sold appliances. In the late 1940s, sales were skyrocketing. The television was seen as a status symbol. But there was a problem. John Walson couldn't sell very many televisions. Sure, he sold and repaired a few, but at the time most television stations were based in larger cities. Because of the large mountains in the area, the residents of Mahanoy City couldn't get very good TV signals. And who wants to buy a fancy television screen if all you can do is see static? John Walson started thinking, and eventually he came up with his stuff of genius cable television. His solution to the reception problem was surprisingly simple. John bought a large antenna and hiked up to the top of New Boston Mountain. He tied the antenna to a utility pole and ran a set of wires, or cables, down the mountain to his store. After running these wires, John hooked up the televisions in his hardware store. Imagine the surprise of customers the next day when they saw John's televisions working. By the next spring, he was offering residents access to this community antenna for a $100 installation fee and a service fee of $2 per month. Needless to say, the idea caught on. Today, cable television is a common sight across the developed world. 